Hi, I'm Ellie Alano, Forest Supervisor of the Tahoe National Forest. As many of you know, the Mosquito Fire has been impacting many communities in and around the Tahoe and El Dorado National Forests. It has also been threatening some important natural and cultural sites in the forest. One of the unique resources we have been working to protect for many years and have placed particular emphasis on during the Mosquito Fire is the Placer County Big Trees Grove, which is the northernmost stand of giant sequoias in the world. For the last decade, we have been actively planning and implementing work in the forest to make both the grove and the surrounding forest stands resilient to large-scale fires like the Mosquito Fire. These efforts, along with the outstanding work taking place in real time on the Mosquito Fire, are ensuring that this special grove will remain for generations to come. Hi, my name is Rachel Hutchinson and I'm the Sierraville District Ranger on the Tahoe National Forest. The Placer County Big Trees Grove is the northernmost grove of giant sequoias and consists of just six large trees, estimated to be about a thousand years old. The largest of these trees is 12 feet in diameter and is just over 225 feet tall. Very large Douglas fir and sugar pines also dominate this area and it is home to California spotted owls. This makes it a very special place on the forest and in the state of California. The Tahoe National Forest has prioritized the restoration and protection of the Placer County Big Trees Grove over the last several decades. We have participated in research on this grove, striving to understand its importance to the future of our forests here in California. Historically, this area experienced wildfire every 11 to 26 years. However, we have not seen wildfire in this location in over 90 years. As a result, the forest in this area is generally high density and includes substantial surface and ladder fuels. This makes this area highly susceptible to damage during a wildfire. Over the last decade, we have implemented forest restoration actions aimed at removing tree density and reintroducing prescribed fire in the area directly surrounding this grove. We're doing this to protect these trees from high intensity wildfire that could result in tree mortality. More recently, we have completed restoration work in the larger area around the grove to reduce fuels and thin the forest. We plan to conduct prescribed burns in this area as well over the next several years. We have been preparing for a wildfire for over a decade and protecting this unique grove of giant sequoias is one of the cornerstones of the Tahoe National Forest work. I'm Garrett Dickman, forest ecologist, Yosemite National Park, and I'm here on the incident helping out with the protection of the Placer Grove of Big Trees, one of the furthest north giant sequoia grove in the range. Um, We've been working on the mosquito fire to make sure that high severity fire does not enter the grove. And this is a big deal because in the past two years, nearly 20% of all giant sequoias on earth have died in high severity fire. So we're making sure that this grove doesn't enter that statistic. And there's only six trees in the grove. So every single tree is extraordinarily important for us to protect. There's a handful of juveniles that have popped up after uh, prescribed fires in 27 and 2018 that gave firefighters an opportunity to, to engage and get in the grove and initiate protection work. And so that work uh, was a variety of treatments. We removed fuels from the bases of the giant sequoias in the manner of uh, you know, removing litter and duff and sticks that is flammable that could burn the, the roots of the giant trees. And then we also thinned smaller diameter conifers that were reaching up into the canopy of the giant sequoias that could act like rungs of a ladder and bring fire into the canopy of those trees and kill them through their other vulnerable spot, which are their leaves. After doing that, after removing those fuels, we, we put a hand line around the giant sequoias and we put a sprinkler system and hose lay around there. And once the, the water was there, we began a prescribed fire essentially in front of the flaming fire and put fire on the ground, burn through the sequoia grove in order to remove those fuels, and then rapidly use the water that we brought in to cool the trees down, to cool those fuels, and to make sure that that fire around the sequoias was secure and those trees were protected. This provided the, the first start in a, a larger operation in order to create a larger box, a, a larger 
fire around the big trees. And so we are prepared for the next stages of the fire. Uh, we've got a larger box around them and uh, we could start burning that at, at a moment's notice or we could begin a defensive firing operation and, and backing fire towards the main uh, mosquito fire fair. Come to that. We are essentially treating the giant sequoia grove as if it were a community. Yeah. And we've created a defensible space and we're ready to protect those big trees. Firefighters have a, a variety of strategy and tactics that we can use in order to pr protect communities or, or giant sequoias, and one of them is to use structure wrap. And in the case of this fire, we chose not to use structure wrap to protect those big trees, instead of removed the fuels from the bases of them. Structure wrap really works well to, to reflect the heat. The other way to protect the trees uh, is to remove the heat that would be reflected by that structure wrap. And as many people have probably noticed that structure wrap only goes a handful of feet up a big tree, and those trees could be 250 feet tall. So we can't wrap an entire tree. It's better to remove the fuels where you have the opportunity to do so. And, and so we, instead of remove the fuels, we used sprinklers and we used water, and we uh, firefighters were able to really engage and be quite literally have sequoias at their backs and we're spraying the flames away from the giant sequoias. So, that's, that's the preferred techniques we used on, on this fire.